Hi designers, in this video we're going to learn how to take a 3D model and send it from Onshape into Blender. This is particularly useful when you want to apply special materials or graphics onto the car. Unfortunately, Onshape is not able to do that as of now. So this video is really quick, really simple. We're going to come down here to the bottom left panel and we're going to click part one. And then holding the shift key, we're going to click part nine. So what that does is it selects all the parts at once. I'm going to right click and say export. A new dialog box will open up. So you just give your file type a name. And for the format, we're going to choose Collada. Collada is quite interesting because when you bring it into Blender, it actually maintains all the material colors that you've set in Onshape. But you might want to choose something more general, and you can choose OBJ and STL. These are the most common two types um, that you can open in multiple 3D programs. But for today, we're going to use Collada. So you just click OK, and this will save to your computer. For me, it saves to my desktop. That's what I set up for my on shape. So now we're going to hop into Blender. And in Blender, I've deleted the objects that come in as default. So I have a blank space, and I'm just going to go File, Import. And as you can see, Collada's right here. So you just navigate to that file that you saved right here. And as you notice, it doesn't look like much has happened, but the file has actually come in, but it's very small. So I'm going to scale it up by pushing S and just moving my mouse. And as you can see, here's the car. And I'm just going to rotate it to something I'm more comfortable with. So R90 on the Z. I typed R90Z. And as you can see, the car is now in a good orientation for myself. And all the materials are here. Now, anytime you transform, like you scale and rotate, it's good habit to hover your mouse over what is selected and push Control A and just apply all those transforms. This sets everything back to 0, 0, 0 in Blender. So you don't get any weird behavior when you're zooming in and out with your camera. Sometimes it will clip and then it will like delete parts of your model as if there's like an invisible wall that's blocking everything. To get around that, you just hover over whatever object that you're editing, control A, apply all transforms. So that's a quick tutorial on how to import a 3D model from Onshape into Blender. In this situation, we use Collada, but like I said earlier, you can import multiple file types like STL, OBJ, FBX, etc. Thanks for watching.